second video and we're going to go to the second part where we're actually going to start controlling something. So Arduino Uno with Shield, we went through the first part and now we're going to add a pin to it. Um, now let's see here, I'm going to open the sketch file and as you remember all the sketches are available on GitHub, uh, link is in the video. So if I'll file, I'll open recent and I'm going to add a pin here. Okay, I'm going to need this one here. Close that. Beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is um, same code as I had before, just a little bit of addition. We are adding a pin to it. Now let me see where we are. I can see that for you. So right here, I'm adding a pin on pin 7. Uh, I've got a 10k resistor as a pull down to ground and another wire here connected from that same number seven that I can connect to ground to turn it on or off. You can't just leave it floating because then it won't know exactly zero or one depending on what's going on with RF and what's going on with EMC around there, the pin would float and that's not really what we wanna do. Um, so a few things I've added, pretty straightforward really. Uh, initialize pin seven, that's a push button connected pin seven. I just have a wire there right now initial value and an old value because we don't want it to keep updating the screen and updating values all the time. We only want it to change value when it's changed. So that's a simple way of doing it. Um, we go down code. Uh, we set up the pin mode as an input for pin seven. And remember, you could use lots of pins if you wanted to, but just make sure they're not the same pins as being used by the shield, yeah? So we don't want to use the same pins as being used by the ethernet. And then we go down to the end where there's a few bits and pieces that we added. So we grab the value of the digital pin, we read the input. If the old value is the same as the new value, we don't worry about it. Uh, we just keep going. Now, if uh, it's not the same, then we print it to the screen here, to the serial port. And all this serial port printing, if it becomes a hardware product that you're doing, you'd remove in any case. And then the old value, we initialize the new value. If the value is one, we say mute. If the value is zero, we say mute zero. Simple as that, okay? Um, let's load that up and uh, have a look how it looks. I think I still left in there the ability to see all the uh, other information, okay? So I'll clear that output. Remember, I set it up to 57,600. By default, it's 9,600 board. So make sure you change that. And I'm doing all the hard work for you here. So you'll be able to play around with it and <laughs> know that it works straight away. Uh, there we go. We connect it up. Okay. And it's going to first list out all the parameters. And you can remove this code if you wanted to. Um, but um, I left it there right now. In the next shield, I'll remove it out. And um, I'll show you what happens then when I'm playing with the pin, okay? It's a lot of parameters. So on, on the UI itself, I'm going to control channel one here um, on and off, okay? I'll just do this here. Grab this here, grab this here, so you can see everything together nicely. So if I take my pin here and I plug into 3.3 volt, that should be one and mute is on. If I take it off, that'll be mute zero and zero is done, okay? So I'm controlling a mute button with a simple pin. You can put a switch, remember to put a pull down resistor, it just makes it more accurate and easier to control. Again, all the information is also up on the GitHub and please uh, in the bottom of the video, subscribe if you like this stuff and we might do some more. Next video, I will add a pot and control some other bits and pieces with that.